Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this um, pre-match press conference with Rulo van der Merwe from the Netherlands. Um, as always, I'd like to remind everyone to please ensure that you put your speakers on mute, I mean, your, your, your monitors on mute, and that you ensure that you raise your hand if you'd like to ask a question. Um, Rulo, will just get started. Um, very familiar competition for you, or opposition for yourself um, and, and Team Netherlands. Uh, tell us about how you guys are going to go about this upcoming fixture against South Africa. Yeah, I think, you know, um, South Africa is a good outfit. Um, I think we've uh, we've played some good cricket at stages this tournament. And uh, we know on the day we can we can turn them over if we just stick to what we've been doing well and, uh, you know, just compete in the day. How are you feeling about your own performances in this World Cup? Yeah, I mean, when when I've played it, uh, I've been pretty happy. Um but you know, tomorrow's a it's a brand new day and it's 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 a one off. So uh the boys are excited for that challenge and uh yeah, hopefully we can uh, play some good cricket. Results aside, um you guys had a really good victory um in your last fixture. How are you feeling just in terms of a team and as a side, in terms of your state of readiness? Yeah, I think, you know, if you if you look at our previous game against uh, Zimbabwe we had a good win. Um I think you always want to get as far as you can in the competition. So you always talk about semi-finals and finals and, and winning trophies. And uh, I think the the interesting thing is when we look back at like one of our, one of our first games against Bangladesh. You know, if we've if we've won that, chase that successfully, how different it could look. But um, as I said, it's that's all in the past now. And uh, yeah, tomorrow the boys are ready. They're excited, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge against South Africa. The group stages ensured that. Um teams like your own were able to play a lot more T20 fixtures. How important are regular fixtures and getting game time for, for teams to be able to operate at a, a world event like this? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, it's for us especially very important because uh, we don't get many fixtures against good teams. So it's always trying to manufacture fixtures uh, against opposition where, we, where we're travelling. But uh, you know, playing those games uh, beforehand definitely helped us uh, preparing for the main stage and uh, it's I think it's definitely been beneficial. How's what is your assessment of this World Cup? There's been so many close finishes, there's been so many like really good tight games. Um, what does that tell you about the the way that teams are starting to rise up and the way that um, you know we're starting to have a lot of strength versus strength cricket um, across the world and the T20 format is is one that allows people to, um, that allows teams to be able to, you know, get really good victories against teams that they wouldn't usually play against. Yeah, I think, you know, you look at, you look at the different formats and then you look at T20 cricket, the shorter the format is, the closer the teams are. Um, I don't think there's as many, well, they call them upsets, like 10 years ago, there would be one, one a tournament. I think you're seeing it more and more happen now. Um, Guys, our teams are getting more clued up in how they want to prepare and what, what needs to be done in, uh, in winning games. So I think that's definitely something that's evolved over, over the last 10 years or so. But uh, yeah, teams are getting, getting closer to the guys, guys at the top, which is, which is good to see. It's good for cricket. So hopefully that can continue and there's more, more tight games coming. Do the number, does the number of global leagues that are taking place now that are popping up around the world assist in getting um, players ready for tournaments like this? I definitely think so. Um, I think if, if you look at Netherlands in isolation, for us, for our players to go and play in those leagues is invaluable. You know, uh, that's exposure that they won't normally get in Holland. Um, so for, from the point of view of, of Netherlands cricket, I think it's, it's a massive benefit uh, that these leagues are happening and guys get exposure in these leagues. What are some of um, the biggest takeaways that your team is going to be taking from the experience of this World Cup, especially in terms of the exposure that your players have gotten or your teammates? Yeah, I think, I think the main thing we'll take back as players and as a team is, uh, is that feeling of playing against great opposition. You know, you don't have any, any easy games and it's, it's, it's a process of learning all the time, which I think it's, it's great for us. Um, you know, so it's it's a period now where we've played a lot of cricket against a lot of good teams, and I mean the, as I say, the golden nuggets we've picked up is uh, it's very important for us going forward and being successful in these type of tournaments in in the future. There's a 
does a world event not feel like one of the biggest reunions of all time <laughs> when you see so many familiar faces? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a great thing about cricket and, and, and world events and, and people coming from different countries participating is that you see old mates and, you know, friends that you haven't seen maybe for 10 years and, you know, it is, is great and that's, that's what sport does, you know, it makes great friendships and uh, you know, it's something that will continue in the future. Because of your guys' to um, tournament performances, um, how has the support been back home in Holland? Yeah, I mean, they, they're 100% behind us. Um, you know, I think they also understand the, the, the size of the tournament and what it means for us to be playing here. So, uh, you yeah, know, the, the support's been great from, from Netherlands and from everywhere, actually. Uh, we've had some support from all over the world, so it's, it's, it's great. Um, we've got a couple of questions on Zoom. We'll start with Umesh. Good, good afternoon, man. So, Owen, I would like to start with the first question, with my question that uh, are you taking, uh, after the last win against Zimbabwe, so are you planning to make some changes in the 11 against South Africa? Because that might not, that might be a crucial match to decide the semi-finalists. Yeah, I think... Um Obviously, we just come off a win against Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa are two do totally different teams. You know, they set up differently. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to wait for, for the coach and captain and selectors to make their choices on who takes the field. So, at this stage, I, I don't have much. So, can we expect uh, Brandon once again? Because uh, he, has been, he, has been, uh, he has performed well off late uh, in the recent matches. So, can we expect Brandon Glover once again in the playing level? Yeah, I think, you know, Brandon's bowled very well. Um, I think so, as, as all our seamers during the, during the competition. So, uh, you know, our seamers have done really well for us and, and put us into a competitive position in the game. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing our seam attack do well again. Mohammed, uh, just sorry. the last one. Last, okay, it's stop good. Uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Please go ahead. Hello. I am uh, Daud Mughal. Uh, I want to ask you, as you know, if you win, Pakistan will go through in semi-final. The whole Pakistan supports you. So I want to ask you, what's your plan against South Africa? Well, I think, I think we do understand the whole significance of the game and if we do beat South Africa. But obviously for us, it's just it's playing a game and, and beating South Africa. So it's, it's we don't think too far outside of that but um, you know we, we just have to do what we've done well and uh, uh, the things we've we've done well this tournament and that's if we do that well against South Africa you never know we, we might have a good day against them thank you thank you what are your thoughts about all the many permutations in this tournament yeah I think you know I think that because of there was actually a bit of, bit of rain this tournament, so it's, it's made it very complicated in, in certain ways and run rates get into it. Uh, you know, that's always exciting, you know. Um, I mean, just looking at the game last night where Australia had to win by a massive margin to give themselves a better chance. Uh, I, I, f I find it very interesting and uh, exciting to, to experience that. And it's, yeah, it's, I think it's good. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, thanks.